and welcome back to the hot stage. We are talking Safari Rally Day 3 and what a day we had. We didn't have the rain that was promised, which kind of was upsetting because I wanted absolute chaos, safe chaos, but I wanted absolute chaos in the rain. But pretty much, as you can see the headline here on WRC.com, to the right of me, Calais, absolutely dominating. It's almost like he's in a different rally. He hasn't had any problems. Does that mean he's saving them all up? For Sunday. Well, he's maxed out his Saturday. Almost perfection. So let's quickly then have a look at the current results as they stand. We've got Roven Pera at 2 hours 48 minutes 50 seconds. We've got Katsuta just over the two minutes behind Formo. And really, Formo, a formidable job, I think, at 3 minutes 13.3 seconds. Um, Evans. Yeah, fourth, not so great. Five and a half minutes down. Not all his fault. I mean, it's basically been in Puncture City and Nouvelle as well. Um, 11 minutes down, 11 minutes, 48 seconds. He he basically, let's be, um, limped back to the end of today's stages. It was not a pretty sight at all. Yeah, it was kind of kind of depressing, really, if, I, if I'm honest for, for them. But... I, but hey, I digress. Let's get into our winners and losers. And we've got three of them. And our first loser, yeah, you've guessed it, is uh, Terry Neuville. Why? Not necessarily his fault, but oh my gosh, his poor Hyundai. What is going on with Hyundai? It's almost like they're making them out of paper for this rally. It's really putting test to them. I know Toyota have been quite dominant in recent years, but Hyundai, the leaders, you know, in a championship pretty much at the moment, uh, the pay setters and they well, they were the pay setters on the friday but it's just gone absolutely pear-shaped for them and all these problems so terry neuville yeah not particularly great and also this guy not great for evans no real fault of his own there was that one accident where he seemingly slammed into the scenery but we believe afterwards when i was shaking my head i felt quite bad because it was it looked like he'd got the puncture, and it was a result of the puncture why he made what appeared to be quite an obvious, very un Evans like mistake at the Safari Rally. But, yes, the king, the king of Safari at the moment is Mr. Roven Pira. Absolutely unstoppable, I think. As we go into the Sunday, I think no one, no one, no one is beating this guy, this guy here. So I'll remind you about the winners and losers at the end. Let's get into any of these interesting stories then, shall we? So in terms of the interesting stories, as we know, Calo Raven Perry is absolutely dominating the rally. Pretty much all clear. It's punctures ahoy for Elvin and the punctures. I mean, what does this guy have to do to get any luck whatsoever? It's absolutely been, I think, disaster with a capital D. Nouvelle, 99 problems, but Safari isn't one. If you look at his fuel problem, he's saying that it's not particularly Safari related. It's Hyundai related, which is slightly concerning. Um, bearing in mind, we don't want a repeat over the next few, you know, over the next races. This is the championship leader. So, let's get into all clear for Cali. So, he's closing in on that Safari Triumph. He's won it He's won it before, and it was the most eventful day today, as, as, is, re as is reported here. And despite dominating every, pretty much every stage the previous day, Cali adopted a conservative approach, and it really, really worked for him. Zero problems. Neville emerged as... Well, at one point, of Roven Perry's nearest threat, despite the incident he had on the Friday, but that was sadly short-lived when that fuel system issue, and that was during you know, the afternoon's first stage, Neville dropped more than two and a half minutes as he was nursing the problem. At one point, he was just ticking over on the electric energy. Now, Roven Perry's Saturday standing will earn him 18 points, provided he completes the Sunday stages. Yes, this controversial points. And uh, we're probably going to have a lot to say about that when we get Chris on the phone. But Kasuta, he's going to receive 15. Formo, who ended third, um, is going to get 13. Um, Kelly said the lead is quite good. So, of course, we took it carefully. He went on to say it's not so enjoyable. We didn't have a big lead. And in a stage like Sleeping Warrior, you just go around every rock. It's scary. 
Tomorrow is still a tough day, and we will try and finish the job. And I imagine they he absolutely will, if I'm honest. So next up, Elvin and those punctures. I mean, what? A pair of costly punctures that hampered Evans' pursuit of a World Rally Championship, what looked like to be a podium, given Calais' current dominance. Not going to happen at the moment, though, is it? Poor, poor Evans. He started Saturday sitting pretty in second, albeit best part of a minute behind Cali. But he ended up, yeah, three minutes, 34.2 seconds behind. Only, only in Kenya, only in Safari, after picking up punctures on stage, um, on stage eight and ten. I mean, yeah, Evans, he picked up a left a rear failure in the day's opening test as well before losing the right rear in the right rear in the famous sleeping warrior test. And it was, I mean, that is a marathon of a stage if there ever was one. The Welshman, though, he did admit he was perplexed by the tyre issues and was able to pinpoint how they occurred. He said, I was driving as well as possible. It is such a long way to go. You can't think too much. Uh, you can't think about too much and you just have to do the best rhythm and drive to the notes you made on the recce. The two punctures are a mystery, not ideal, said Evans. No idea on them. Last but not least, we've got Nouvelle, and it wasn't really a safari problem, which I thought, um, you know, he said problem not down to safari conditions. Now, the reason, this is reporting on Dirtfish, the reason for Thierry Nouvelle's safari technical woes, it still isn't exactly clear, but he's convinced it's not due to the roughness of the safari rally, which was a surprise. So the fuel-related problem that cost Terry Newell his hopes of a maiden safari rally and to stretch that lead in the World Championship, alas, uh, were, well, thanks to Hyundai, were ground to a halt. Repeatedly ground to a halt, dropping him from second to fifth, costing him more than 10 minutes. Even though he was a minute and a half behind the leader, Calais, the rough nature of the African classic, it says, on Dervish, means there's always the potential for drama. And drama it was for Nouvelle. Nouvelle and Hyundai senior management have been unable to pinpoint the issue, but they don't expect they don't expect to until they've reviewed data for the car. Nouvelle said four times in a row we got hit by trouble on the safari. So for sure, it's not very promising. And it doesn't give you the necessary confidence when you come to a rally like this. He said they're going to analyze, but somehow we weren't capable of fixing it. At, um, at the end, we were running in safe mode in the last stage, which allowed us more or less 60% of the performance, I would say. And yeah, let's be fair, it was very, very obvious that he was, um, it was very, very obvious that he was very, very slow. I mean, poor Nouveau. So let's just remind ourselves of the winners and lose, well, the winner and losers, one winner, going into day three. I mean, we've got Nouveau, um, yeah, absolutely Bad luck, I think, for the for the two for the two losers having that Hyundai fuel issue. That's definitely more a Hyundai problem than a Nouvelle problem. But still, yeah, one of the biggest losers coming out of day three. Also, this man here, he looked so good for second at the very least, unless Calais had a problem. But punctures and punctures and punctures are high. I mean, he must be he, he must think that he must think the builders have just gone out of his drive and left a uh, loads of screw presents for him. I mean, it's just absolutely a uh, absolutely insane how unlucky this guy was in, in the in the auto but the big winner the big winner today the big winner yesterday possibly the big winner tomorrow the big winner of the whole thing calais roven pira yes so thank you very much if you like what you see please subscribe if you want to see more that'll be great and we will speak to you soon thank you very much